Hey, what is going on, guys? RPM Slayer here, bringing you a 40 and 5 Black Ops 2 MP7 Domination gameplay on the map carrier. I was about to say standoff. Whoops. And um, this is with the MP7 with I think Silencer, Laser, and Red Dot. And this is, was this was a long time ago gameplay, and it was actually my first ever VTOL. So I don't think there's a swarm in this gameplay, but it's my first ever VTOL, which is crazy. So this is sort of what got me started on the high streaks in this game and, you know, get me going into these high-scoring gameplays, high-scoring low-death gameplays. And that's just, yeah, this is sort of the beginning of it. But what I want to talk to you about is like to, um, today is just a little chat. Now, I want to talk about a topic that I've thought about a lot and it's really important to me. I feel really passionate about it. So don't mind if I get a tad emotional or a tad biased. You can let me know in the comments if I do. And um, I'll try not to for the future, but I may get a tad biased just because I have very strong opinions on this topic. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but I just I just feel like I need to get this out of my system. So, what I want to talk about is how, if if you don't know, during the period of around 1933 to 1945, there was there was um the rise of Nazism in Germany, which if you don't know was the National Socialist Party. Um, National Socialist German Workers' Party, held, head by Adolf Hitler, grew to amazing, um, amazing power and eventually ended with the Holocaust, which was the extermination of the Jewish people. Um, and it's an absolutely disgusting time in, um, in, th in this, the past of this planet. You know, I think, uh, when I think back of it, I think, how could humans be that destructive and that cruel and unsympathetic? But it's not really what I'm talking about. It's kind of related to. So, if you don't know, in Greece right now, there's a bit of a situation happening where they're, they're in a bit of strife. And, and when I say strife, I mean their economy's not great, and they've got an amazing amount of immigrants who are just flooding the streets of Greece. You know, they're, um, they're, they're all, they're, a lot of them are, are broke or are dying on the streets, and, you know, people are really getting sick of it. And, Greece is starting to look like what German did, Germany, sorry, did, um, before the rise of Nazism, and that was, in fact, um, you know, Germany was very damaged because of the, um, because of the defeat in World War One. They were just really, really, um, unprotected, and you know, they were really, really, um, badly hurt. And Germany is starting to look like that. Granted, nothing is made. I mean, not Germany. Um, Greece, sorry, is starting to look like that. And nothing is made. Greece to look like that. It's just, it's just slowly deteriorated because of you know population growth, that kind of stuff. Nothing too bad. But um, what it is is, I just think that, that it's just how could people? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go into that. I'll, I'll get into that soon. But what I want to talk about, so. There's an idea of neo-Nazism, which is sort of like the um people who feel who still believe in the Nazi ideals who aren't who weren't in the German Nazi time, who are in the pre present time or the future or or even after na time of Nazism. Just not people who think who uh, believe the Nazi ideals after the time of the Nazi the rise of Nazism in Germany, and it's basically called neo-Nazism, and there are still neo-Nazis in the world today, people who think, no, Hitler, everything he did was right, you know, I, I, we, we can't believe, blah, 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 that Hitler wasn't allowed to do what he did, you know, he's just, he's, he's the right, he's the right king or um, leader of the world, blah, 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 just a really, a lot of propaganda, you know, people believing that everything the Nazi did was well, was, you know, well justified and absolutely, um, absolutely right in their minds. It was the right thing to do. And so these neo-Nazis sometimes form little resistance groups that, you know, try to resist. Um, I, I resist kind of is a, bad, is a bad word, but resist, by resist I mean like try to, ta try to force their ideals on a certain place. And so that's what's happening in Germany. The place, the, um, the group, like the Nazis in Germany, um, they were actually called the National Socialist German Workers' Party, which is what they were originally originally called, and then everyone just called them the Nazis, even though it wasn't exactly exact exactly accurate. But what the um little gr group in Greece co in Greece is called is the Golden Dawn, and basically it's this very very aggressive um political group who are sort of trying to build up popularity, basing their ideals off 
someone to blame for all Greece's problems at the time now, which is what essentially grew um, Germany very, I mean, the Nazis very popular was there, you know, they had, they gave Germany someone to blame for, you know, sorry, the Great Depression, the Treaty of Versailles, which is what bankrupted Germany after World War One, with the loss of World War One, they gave a, the German people something, a, per, a person, a, a particular race to, to blame. And that was the Jewish people, and that's what ended up leaving, leading, leading to the Holocaust. And um, basically, what happened was the Golden Dawn group is basically blaming all this on the immigrants and the foreigners who are flooding the streets of Greece because their country is war torn or whatever reason they may be in Greece. But it's just unbelievable that I can honestly that these people are so narrow minded that. They think forming a group similar to the Nazis, the Nazis of Germany, is going to solve their problems. And, you know, maybe it will, but I don't, you know, there's a chance that, you know, forming, uh, extraditing, I don't even know if that's the right word, just um, getting rid of all the, all the foreigners from Greece, there's a chance that may fix Greece's economy and it's, it's crippling depression. Oh, it's not really a depression, it's just they're really in trouble if you, if you, want to take that, but they think that will fix that, and, you know, maybe it will, maybe it will, but at what cost, whether it Hitler always intended to end his rule with the Holocaust or not, uh, is unclear at the current time, but what is clear is that once, after so many years in power, and, you know, people just relying on Hitler's ideals to get them through the day, the Holocaust didn't seem like such an abomination to the German people, and I'm afraid that if the Golden Dawn group get enough movement, get enough um, popularity, that if they do something similar, similar, it won't seem as such an abomination. And I think people need to recognise now that they cannot, they under any circumstances, commit any form of, of genocide or anything like that, any form of, of war-based um, remedy. Because I think this, it can only end bad for some people. And... It's stupid how aggressive they want to be to try and fit... Because in a lot of ways, people think they're trying to appeal to the government. You're thinking, you know, if you don't act now, we're going to, you know, um, we're going to get in command and blah, blah, blah. You know, just um, we're going to do enforce all these crazy laws and blah, blah, blah. And that's just basically their argument. And so the government is kind of worried, but I don't think they will do anything. I don't think they believe they'll gain enough votes. And they're sitting on about seven percent of Greece's votes about right now, which, you know, when you think when you think about it, oh, okay, well, seven percent's all right. You know, they're not doing too well. No one really believes these crazies. But, you know, once upon a time the Nazis were on seven percent of votes. Once upon, one, uh, once upon a time the Nazis were on one percent. And you know, it can happen again. I don't doubt that. And that's what the that's what the thick-minded people, in, the thick-minded leaders in Greece, don't believe that it can it happened once. It can happen again. And this is the the rise of a party which can enforce some insane laws that can just can just destroy people on this planet. And I mean really physically destroy people on this planet. And that's a horrible thought to think about, but I just I just can't believe it. And basically they're very, very um sure that their ideals are right, etc. You know, um they just they're so corrupt. I'll be back in just a sec, guys. There you guys back. And, um, yeah, so they're just enforcing their ideals. And, you know, they don't have much support now. But, you know, give it give it a few months, maybe a few years. They, If the government doesn't help what help the situation that Greece is in, I think they will gain a lot more, a lot more votes and a hell of a lot more power um, amongst the Greece, amongst Greece. So this is really a plea, and I mean, this isn't a plea, this is a commentary, obviously, but I think Greece is pleading for new command. The people who are voting for them are those who have been absolutely screwed over, if you will, by the gov by the um, Greece government, because, you know, they're, they're having horrible things happen to them, you know, their, their um, shops are being uh, stolen from, and all this stuff, and the government just isn't really in the mood for caring. I don't, I don't say in the mood, I mean, it's not really in the position to care because of how much trouble they're in, how much trouble they're trying to get out of. So, unfortunately, this is just a really bad situation, and I cannot believe that people would even think to resort to Nazism again. 
I mean, it was such, it ha it ended so horribly bad, so horribly with, what, six million, pe six million or so Jewish people being killed, um, in World War Two, and I just, I cannot believe people would do it again, but if you enjoyed this commentary, guys, please leave it a like, leave a comment, tell me your thoughts, um, jump on YouTube and check out some videos about Golden Dawn, you know, they're an absolutely very, very aggressive group, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just hoping this doesn't escalate, but please leave a like if you enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in future videos, alright guys, see you later.